Hey everyone, this is Jake with Fowler Custom Calls. I'm um, doing some uh, goose tuning. I've had some questions lately about shaving reeds um, and just kind of setting up the goose calls um, that we do here. So I want to just kind of walk you through it. We do offer packs on our website. You get a tone board, a wedge, two O-rings, and an unshaven reed. It's, it's just a tune-up kit. So that way you can shave your own reed and set them up. Um, when you get a call from us, we, we have them kind of marked and ready to go for you. So what we do here is we mark the farthest point that, that the wedge should ever go um, because that's where the ramp starts. So if you go past that, you're going to start getting really high pitched sounds. Um, I mean, you can play around with it. Some guys like it. You can do what you want. But that's kind of where I start. Um, I generally will send them out the door with an eighth inch, the wedge back eighth inch. It's where I like to run them. You can go farther back. Um, but that line is kind of the no man's land. Don't go past that. The other thing that we do is on these wedges, they're, they're, they're tapered. They're ramped. So I put just a, a little round dot or an X, something like that on there. And what that means is when you set it on this tone board, that it faces forward so that they can wedge into the call correctly. Just kind of pre-do that for you guys uh, and, and make it easy. So Mylar reeds come in huge rolls roll, uh, and they have a natural bend to them because they're in a roll. So what you want to do is you just want to bend it between your fingers um, and, and find the natural bend. Some people spin them on a table. There's all kinds of different things. I just find that you bend them and that you want that bow, that bottom bow, the bend, to go towards the bottom of the tone board. Um, you can flip them around. I know some goose callers that like them the other way. Um, this is the way that they're designed. This is the way that I set them up. Um, I, I say this is the right way, but there's gonna be people that disagree with me. Um, just like a duck call. You want the bend to be down. Helps lift that reed. So also our reeds come with two ends. I don't know if you can see it, side of hand, but there's a fat radius and a skinny radius. So the fat radius is what we call our deep pitch. The skinny radius is what we call our high pitch. Um, so it just depends on how, how you want them set up, what you want to sound like, what your geese sound like. Um, if you have smaller geese in the Pacific Flyway like we do, uh, some guys run it like that. If you're over on the East Coast and you're just shooting big honkers, you want a deep sounding, it just depends on what you want. Cool thing about our calls is we have a, a, a double-sided read so you can figure it out. Um, you'll pick and choose what you want on our website we tune it um, the way you order it. But if you get it and you're like, hey, I want to try it and flip it around, flip it around by means, check it out. Um, I do shave both ends. So if you give me a tuning instruction on what how you want them shaved, and we basically offer a light, a medium, and a heavy. And a heavy is a full read. Um, there's, there's people that say you should blow a full read all the time. You should learn how to blow a full read. Uh, because you know, once you start shaving it, you're, you're changing the integrity of the reed. You can split it, you can bubble it, you can crack it. And, that, and that's true. Um, you know, you can get a lot more longevity out of a full reed, but they're super stiff. Um, I personally um, have always blown a full reed until recently I started blowing some shave reeds. And the reason why is because I was tuning calls for customers a lot. And uh, you know, I was tuning them a little heavier than what they wanted, so I started just blowing a, a lighter reed and getting more versatility out of my goose call. Um, and so I'm blowing a shaved reed. Um, it's just lightly shaved um, compared to most. Maybe I'm just shaving the tip just to kind of get a little lift. Um, but but anyways, I mean, it it is what it is. Uh, most goose calls, most companies on the market shave their reeds. Um, so. We can talk about shaving reeds a little bit because uh, there's a lot of mystery behind it and, and sometimes people get a little hesitant on how it's done. Um, there's a couple different ways. Um, you can lay it on a flat surface and you can get a you know window scraper, a razor blade, and you can scrape. Um, I've also seen people use these, uh, these little locks um, that you can get at any wood store and you can push down on it, lock it in, and shave it um, You know, so it's holding it for you. Um, another way I've seen people is taking old inserts. Um, and, and putting them on a round dowel and then basically shaving it. Um, I have my own, um, something that I've built, uh, just out of a piece of uh, you know nylon or Delrin or something, something that's gonna hold up to longevity. It does get scraped up a little bit. There is tools on the market that you can buy to do that, but uh, you can buy a piece of PVC and do the same thing. You basically just put your finger in there, put your thumb on it and shave it. So we're gonna go ahead and shave this reed. Um, 
We're gonna do the fat end because that's what that, that's what was asked for. So I'm just finding the bow. I know it's bowed down. Um, and then I'm looking at the ends of it and I'm just gonna go ahead and mark my skinny end. And what I do on my skinny end is I put a money symbol on there. Find a sharp that's not dried out. I just put a money symbol on my skinny end and I write fat on the fat end. So just to shave a reed, you can, I mean, you can use razor blades. I use these little retractable, retractable uh, razor blades and basically get it in here and you just start shaving. I go about halfway down the call and you're just taking bits and pieces off, making full, go all the way across the call. I'm gonna loosen that up a little bit or tighten it up. And you're just lightly shaving it. Now mylar reeds come in 14 hundredths of a thousand. So you basically, you know, you're taking a little bit off at a time. Uh, I know guys that, you know, that blow 10 thousandths, like a duck reed. Um, I try to keep it, you know, 13, 12 um, thousandths at the most. And I'm gonna flip it around. And you're gonna see that little money symbol kind of go away. It is messy, but uh, Start on the edge, kind of roll it, get right down the middle. You can see that money symbol went away, I'm going to this different edge. Maybe work on the, just the tip a little bit. So I just kind of shave that reed. I call that my kind of medium tune. I'm taking some off. Um, you know, I can put some calipers here and check it. Um, but the other thing too is you're gonna get some burrs on the end. So I just kind of take a little bit of sandpaper. You can use an emery board, just not a heavy grit. I'm just kind of taking those off, the little fine hairs and burrs and stuff. Just get rid of that. Um, not being too aggressive. Uh, you can. I've seen guys take sandpaper and you know and rub it on there and and, and smooth them out. I mean, there's there's a lots of different techniques and ways. Um, I just like to use that round dowel um, and scrape with a razor blade. Um, and now basically when you set up a goose call, what I do, that's the skinny end and we want the fat end. So what I do is I just try to get it right there in the trough and you just want to get it so it's just bending down in there. And what I do is I just kind of put my thumb and my index fingers and I hold it like that. And then I take my top wedge and that little black dot goes out. So I set it on there. I'm about an eighth of an inch away from my black line. And um, that's my starting point. That's, you know, I'm tuning, you know, anywhere from four or five calls a day to, you know, sometimes I've got a hundred in front of me that I've got to tune up. Um, and so <clears throat> I just like to have a good reference starting point. And I do pop the reel a little bit just to see if it gets in there, um, what it is. And you push down and you want to get it down into that trough because that's what it's doing. Um, when it, when you're blowing on it, it's rolling up and then it's going dipping down. And the more you blow on it, you're going to start breaking those reeds in, um, or breaking the tone board in. It's going to start vibrating and, and, uh, building a trough and it's built something for you. Um, so I've got that kind of set where I want it. Um, so I'm just going to give it a run, see where it's at. It's a little light for me, um, but I know that's kind of a medium tune. Um, <clears throat> I can get a little lighter if the customer wants a little lighter. But that's that's essentially it. Um, something that we also do when I when I come back in um, before I ship it, most of the times I put just a little line <clears throat> right there. I draw a little sharp marker. That's just a reference point of where I've tuned it. Once you kind of get it tuned, and and that's the thing, everybody blows a goose call a little different. So I want you guys to play with it. You know. The, the more reed exposed, the deeper, the harder it is to blow, the less reed exposed, the higher pitch, maybe the easier it is to blow. Um, play with it, you know, move it back and forth, get your tone board, get it where you want, lock it in, it, you know, play with it. Get it so where it really sounds good, go outside with it, and, and, and once you get it figured out where you want, put a marker on there because you need to pull these calls apart, clean them up a little bit. Um, and I'm just gonna finish this one off. I'm just gonna write fat on the tip and I just write medium. 
that's how the calls are coming out to you guys. What it means is a medium, you know, medium shaved fat, you know, fat end. If you need to shave a little more off, if you just want to try to tip it a little bit, um, by all means, go for it. We sell these. We sell our kits. Um, maybe you don't need the whole thing and you need just some reads. Give me a call. I can, you know, I can get you some reads. Um, we can ship them out to you. Um, they're fairly inexpensive. I think they're about 75 cents is what we charge for them. Um, and, and, and that's it. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me on Facebook, on Messenger. Or you can give me a call. You can send me a text. It doesn't matter. Um, you can find us at www.foulweathercalls.net. Thank you.